Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Screencast Keys plugin on Blender 2.8. So if I open up the web browser, I'm going to go to this website, it's GitHub page here, and I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description. And as I scroll down this page, you're going to see the Screencast Key image here. And just below it, you're going to see you can uh, you should really say you can see all released versions from this page here, right? So let's click on this page here and then you'll see support for Blender 2.8 and we'll click on this zip file. So let's download the zip file, it's very small. And we'll open up this folder on my desktop and we just drag and drop this zip file into the folder. We can close down the web browser and open up uh, Blender now. And we'll go to edit and go to preferences. And inside preferences, we want to go to add on and then click on this install button here. So we'll open that and then we'll navigate to my desktop and we'll go into here and we'll select that zip file that we just downloaded and click install add-on from file. So once we do that, we need to type in here screen, uh, screen, and then we'll see this option here that we need to enable screencast keys here. So let's go ahead and click here and click save and then close this. And then we need to press the letter N on our keyboard, the letter N, and that will open up the transform control panel here. And you'll see a new option here, screencast. So to enable this, uh, you need to tick off this option here and then also tick off last operator as well. And then as you're typing or as you're middle mouse clicking, you see middle mouse written here. Um, if I use my mouse wheel, it will show all of the, the actions or shift and A and it will show you that I'm adding an object and it will just give you information here. This is more for when people are doing tutorials, but sometimes if you're recording a video of you doing something in Blender, maybe you want to reference back and you can't remember exactly what you pressed, then maybe that's a good way to, um, to remember that. Now, the text in here is very small, so let's increase the font size. I think we need it to be quite big. And I think it needs to be any, you know, black and white are probably not the best colors. So I'm going to make it like a green color. And then you can display, you can change the font size here. Um, shadow color. I'm not sure about that. I'm not really played around with that. I don't think, um, I, think you, I think you can have like a drop shadow on it or something like this. But I'm not going to play around with that. I normally just change the font size here. So in more future tutorials, you'll see this big green text written here. So you'll know if I'm middle mouse clicking or rotating or whatever I'm doing. It'll be quite clear what I'm doing, my actions. And the display time, how long will it stay on the screen? So I'm going to leave it at three seconds. And then you can click on region here. You can have area or window. Normally, I just leave it on region. And you can select this set origin and then you can click on this window here and it will display in here or you can click over here and it will display down here. So most people will have it down in the bottom left hand here will probably be the best location. So we can press the letter N and close that down. So let's press the letter N that closes down that little side panel there. That's how you go about installing this screencast um, plugin onto Blender 2.8. So all my future tutorials, I should have that up and running so you can follow them a little bit more clearly. Or if I'm saying something you don't quite understand uh, in terms of a mouse or a keyboard action, then you'll be able to see that in the bottom left hand corner as well. So let's go ahead and close down Blender. That's the end of this tutorial. Look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.